Laging hanggang dito na lang Maligayang pagdating sa aking YouTube channel Ako si Toshi Kamusta po kayo? So the Filipino BL series Sakristan recently finished airing and I wanted to try to get out a review for you all as quickly as possible. For those of you who are new to my channel and don't know, I'm pretty obsessed with BL series. I watch a lot of Thai BL series and I've made some review and ranking videos on those series. So if you haven't seen them, go check them out and be sure to subscribe to get more reviews and content about worldwide BL in the near future. Anyway, the Philippines has been a huge consumer of Thai BL series recently, and they are trying to get into that market. I see you, Philippines. Nakikita kita, girl. While Sakristan is not the quote-unquote first Filipino BL, I think that title belongs to Game Boys, which I will also try to do a review video of within the next few days if I can. But anyway, Sakristan touches on very different themes and has a very different tone than other Filipino BL shows out right now, such as Game Boys and Hello Stranger. So without further ado, let's get into my thoughts and opinions and my honest review of Sakristan. Alright, so a spoiler alert. Obviously, this video will contain some spoilers, so if you haven't seen the show yet, click the video card right up here in the top right corner of your video, or find the link down below in the description. I've left it down there for you. However, if you don't care about the spoilers or you've already seen the show, then feel free to keep watching. So the title Sakristan means acolyte or altar boy, which is defined as a person who assists in religious services and or processions. So right from the get-go, our story is about Filipino religious identity, and we all know religion don't always mix well with the gay. So our main pairing in this show is Christian, really. We couldn't come up with a less cliche name. Who is the sacristan of his church and the bad boy Zach who is a swimmer and of course needs help with his grades or something stereotypical like that. Anyway, Christian becomes his shepherd and Zach is the sheep and this is a religious motif that they'll keep coming back to throughout the entire series. And guess what? One of Christian's friends is also named Wolf. So you have a shepherd, you have a sheep, and you have wolf. Clever girl. Wolf is another sacristan and a closeted gay who's been in love with Christian for who knows how long. But the big bad wolf just can't resist getting the taste of that sheep, if you know what I mean. Anyway, to back up a bit. The first four or five episodes out of the total eight are really about Christian exploring his deepening relationship with Zach, coming to terms with his own sexuality, and deciding to leave the church. Which he ends up just going back to in the end, and indirectly converting Zach into also becoming a sacristan, I guess. And as the shepherd and the sheep find themselves in a good place and coming together as boyfriends, of course, things start to go sour. Jealousy starts kicking in and Zack accuses Wolf of being a closeted gay and wanting to steal Christian away from him. You're not wrong, though. Things get heated and Zack and Wolf somehow find themselves in a passionate, it wasn't that passionate, makeout session only for Christian to walk in on them. Well, duh. And I hope y'all took me seriously when I said spoiler alert, because I'm about to get real with y'all. Most of you will probably not like the ending. It's not the typical happy ending where love conquers all and the couple resolves all of their issues and they live happily ever after. No. Everyone ends up alone. Well, I guess they end up with God. 
good for them. I actually thought the story was quite well written and explored a lot of cultural, religious, social aspects unique to the Philippines, and I really appreciated that. Plus, the not-so-happy ending was actually a pretty hopeful ending, I think, and a much more realistic one. Love is not always easy, you're not always going to find your first love and stay with them forever, as a lot of BL romances seem to suggest. And it's important to know how to carry yourself and move on when you face adversity the way that Christian faced it. I think it's important to realize that when things don't go well, it's important to realize that your first love should be yourself. You have to take care of yourself and think about yourself. Christian grew from the experience and didn't let himself just be blinded by his emotions. I think I would have really hated the show if Christian just ended up taking Zack back. Staying true to himself and his beliefs, Christian forgives Wolf and he forgives Zack, but he's also clear that things can't really go back to the way that they were, and that's okay because we have to keep living on. So, for me, plot and storyline... Let's talk about the acting. The acting in this show was not great. Oh, no. I know that many of these actors are relatively new to the industry and they don't have a ton of experience. And I know I can't expect the same level of perfection that we get from our usual Thai BLs. But due to different factors like different budgets and different amounts of talents and what you can do and what you can't do. Well, what you want to do is not necessarily what you're gonna do. Sacristan definitely did what it could. Right. Individually, I don't think any of the actors were bad actors per se. I think what just really turned me off was that it felt like none of the actors actually had good chemistry with each other, especially the main boys. Ultimately, the gang of school bakla and the sassy teacher and Christian's super extra female friend Penelope. I think that they stole all the scenes and really made the show a lot more light and campy in contrast to the seriousness and the moodiness of the main storyline. But again, like I said, acting wasn't bad. It just wasn't that great. Henry Villanueva as Christian, I think he had the boy next door vibes down and he was quite good at that. But at the same time, sometimes that boy next door kind of shyness and awkwardness almost made him seem emotionless during some scenes. And it made it really hard to connect with him until much later in the series, I think, when his mom finds out about his relationship with Zack, when he goes to his father to get advice and consolation. I think those scenes were really great scenes in which he really showed a lot more depth. And Clifford Pussing as Zack. I'm not gonna say a word about his body because the child is 16 years old. Yeah, you heard me, 16. I don't want to go to jail. I suspect you don't either. Moving on, Clifford actually is a champion triathlete though, so that probably helped him get into his character. There were times though, however, where I felt like he was definitely overacting, being way too dramatic, especially the crying scenes where he's begging Christian to take him back. I felt like it was almost distracting because it just was too much. Was doing too much. But they're both very handsome actors and I will look forward to seeing them in future series, BL or otherwise. I don't know too much about the director, Daryl Yap, but it does seem like a lot of people either love him or hate him. And in terms of the cinematography, I thought it was quite nice and has some really beautiful shots. But were they all absolutely necessary for the story? No. The feel you get when you watch this series is as if it's an indie film that's just been cut into 
episodes. Which is not necessarily a bad thing. It's obviously different than Game Boys or Hello Stranger, where those two shows utilize a lot more digital media and really take on the kind of webcam form of interaction as its main style. This one definitely had a very different feel and it's much more apparent in their feel folio Sakristan art film videos that they also released. So go check those out if you're looking for something very edgy. On a good note, however, the music. The soundtrack to this series was probably the best Filipino music I've ever heard. Just wow. Such good music. A+. Plus. All right, everyone, so that was my honest review of Sacristan, one of the first Filipino BL series. Overall, I would give this series 2 out of 5. It wasn't terrible, but if you don't have the time to watch it, I wouldn't say that you're missing much. It was certainly a nice journey, but not that memorable. Nonetheless, I'm super glad that the Philippines is trying to follow in the footsteps of the Thai BL market, and I do believe that Filipino BLs definitely have a lot of potential, so please make sure you check out this series, or Game Boys, or Hello Stranger to support BL entertainment coming out in the Philippines. As always, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, Leave a comment below. Tell me what else you want me to watch and review. I'll see you next time. Salamat po. Paalam.